a second. I always told my mom I'd get on the big screen, I just didn't imagine being like that. So, <laughs> um, I, very much like a lot of people in here, struggled with my weight for a while. Um, I did not grow up heavy at all. I was actually probably about 175 pounds up until the point where I was 23. I got promoted at work, and like many people, they start getting busy with work. The higher that you rank up in your positions, the more responsibility gets laid on you. So, um, exercise just did not become an option for me anymore. Started to sit behind a desk, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Became fast food, McDonald's, Burger King, everything. I knew, I knew the supersized menu options in my head before I could drove up to the place. They were going to ask me to supersize it. If they forgot to ask me, I'd remind them. <laughs> I was a human bag. It wasn't just washing down. I didn't care. I was just going to eat my food. Unfortunately, as we all know, pleasure in your lips, lifetime in your hips. So, um, what I ended up doing, um, unfortunately, a little bit of time went by and not taking care of myself, my appendix ruptured. Ended up in the hospital. I waited six days before going to the hospital, not knowing my appendix had ruptured. Toxemia, toxemia of the blood sank, set in because of how um, invasive the surgery was. The doctor says I couldn't work out for six months. Never officially got diagnosed with depression, but I know I was facing that. So, um, you know, food became my comfort. <laughs> And I started to hate who I was inside and out. Would take plenty of pictures. People would be like, take a picture, and take a picture. So I'm always smiling in a picture, but I'm not sure if you've been in that side where you see yourself in the mirror and you just avoid it, or you just can't understand why you let yourself get to that point. So I um, started working out at a gym, or working out at a gym. Um, after finally just getting really, really frustrated up in the hospital, the doctor told me um, what I thought was a heart attack turned out to be acid reflux because of all the food that I ate that day and told me that I needed to basically change what I was doing because I was on the fast road to a heart attack or an early grave. So kind of my aha moment and pulled me out of that. Purchased uh, P90X and like many, let it sit on the shelf because it looked really great on TV, but I didn't uh, know if I could do it. I live in a, in a complex or a two, uh, upstairs downstairs unit. My baby sister, Ashley, who unfortunately couldn't be here today, lives below me. In the bottom level, and I live above her, so she hears me walking up and down all the place in, in the upstairs unit. And one day I told her after plateauing at the gym, I have P90X, hey, I, I want to start my journey. And she's 4'11, she was a size 18. And she says to me, um, What's P90X? And I said, Check it out online, just tell me what you think about it. And she goes, Okay, so she looks at it, see her in passing in the little crosswalk on the, the next morning, and I was like, What do you think? She goes, Fine, let's go to just start it. December 10th was the day we started. What I told her was, you can do one of two things. You can join me on my journey, or I'm going to jump and fall through your ceiling. <laughs> Either way, we're going to see each other. And it's like, I'm going to hold on the roof and we'll just go ahead and just take it from that point. And she just laughed at me. She said, okay, um, I think you'll end up showing her picture. When you see her picture, her before picture is the cheesiest picture you ever see. And if you ask her today why she took a picture like that, because we didn't do before, side, back pictures. We just had one front picture. She says, I didn't do any kind of special picture or special pose because Alex never committed to doing anything. Two years later, I've lost 140 pounds. And um, my two sisters, I actually have two sisters that started their journey with me on the exact same day. One of which is my sister Ashley. She's the size 18 when she started. She's over there, she's a size two. These women have pushed me, and I wonder where I think of that. But <laughs> on the days when I didn't have the strength to get up and press play, they sent me a text and reminded me of how important I was to them. So, sorry. <laughs> So um, I wish they could have been here. I mean, that was that, that would have just been so inspiring for me. But I'm gonna make sure they're here at the next one. <laughs> but um, like like what you said, I mean, it's it's so important. I mean, if you brought a guest with you, you brought them here for a reason. I mean, we when I talk about each body, I get so passionate about each body. It's not about a quick dollar. It's about the fact that they genuinely care about you. They're putting nutrition out there for you. It's good for you. It's not all kinds of toxic stuff that's gonna kill you in the long run. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing what this company does and what it stands for. They are genuinely out there to penetrate obesity. And when people tell me obesity runs in my family, 
I tell them no, it's because no one runs in your family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not finished. Um, you know, I'm, I'm about to kick off a hybrid on Monday with a, a, a large group of um, people that I coach my actual body coaching part of the business. Um, I've been I've been a coach. My coach is out of North Carolina. She met me online. She pressured and pressured and pressured to try to get me to be a coach. I actually told her if she kept asking me, I was unfriend her on Facebook. <laughs> so don't ask me again. Um, then one day she asked me for my before and after pictures. It wasn't these, but I probably lost about 60 pounds. And she said, um, send me your pictures. She did it before and after for me on PowerPoint. <laughs> Didn't even ask, she just put it in tag me on Facebook. And I got over 200 people commenting on it. And I was just so shocked at how many people were inspired by what I was doing. And I was literally still not interested in being a coach. And I was just handing her my friend's um, phone number saying, they want the program, just sell them the program. I don't care, I don't, want to, no, I don't want to be a coach. And then after a while, she was like, and she actually told me, she's like, I made over $500. <coughs> selling stuff to your friends. And I was like, wait, what else it comes from here? <laughs> I'm not getting any of my friends can tell me about this coaching opportunity. <laughs> so um, now I've actually uh, been a coach since November of last year. I'm a diamond coach. I'm about to become a one-star diamond coach. <laughs> and, uh, and I actually have a, a group online called Mission X, and I coach over 450 people. And there's several coaches that are in here that I personally know that are in that group. And literally, I it's you know some some people get really territorial about oh, I can't put another coach with somebody that's not in my downline and stuff. I don't care. I don't because we're all in this for the same reason. I mean that person's already signed up underneath me. I'm not worried about somebody stealing them because their faithfulness is to me. And if I get stuck on a question about Jolene Extreme, I might be able to try to tag Heather who's done it, you know, and say, you know, I have no idea what that's like, but I have some amazing people in my group that can share with you what that is. And so that's what it's for. We just, you know, the group really runs itself. It's amazing at how many people post on, on a daily basis and we, there, it's nothing but inspiration and motivation to just keep, keep people going and remind them of how important it is to press play. So, that's it. So. <laughs> uh, uh,